Good afternoon. Uh, today I wanted to um, talk about some of the easiest tropicals to grow here in Central Valley. Um, I know, you know, really the misconception out there is, you know, that tropicals are difficult to grow here in that the frost kills them or the, the Central Valley's heat kills them. But these tropical trees, from my personal experience, been in the ground uh, for years and years, had had no issues at all. They are probably, in my opinion, one of the easiest tropical fruit trees to grow here in our climate, in our environment. Uh, and this is in no particular order. So um, I'll, I'll show you. So really, <laughs> Just from the top of my list, uh, it, it's got to be the guava. I mean, these guys are just crazy easy to grow. I mean, we'll take the full sun. In fact, they actually need the full sun. Uh, to give you an example, this um, pro guava here was struggling a bit when I had all these containers here blocking the sun. However, since moving them back, <laughs> it's doing awesome. So guavas, regardless of the variety, will be able to take the Central Valley's winter and summer without any issues. The second one uh, on my list is going to be this guy back here, the Longin. Uh, this is a uh, Kahala variety, but Longins are just also insanely easy to grow here in the Central Valley. Um, also another tree that, you know, is generally fuss free. The only thing with the longins is they are a bit slow growing. So, uh, in fact, I want to say that guy is going about, it's been in the ground for three years, but I want to say it's about five years old when we, uh, when we purchased it. So, <laughs> you're talking, you know, eight years old tree right there. It's maybe three, four feet tall. So, longins. Uh, the other tree uh, is actually going to be this guy right here, a mango of all trees, uh, specifically the Manila, native to the Philippines. The cool thing with Manila mangoes is a couple of things. Number one, they are the world's sweetest mango variety. I've got another one right here actually. So world's sweetest mango variety growing here in Central Valley. And also number two, I've seen these uh, in the your local big box stores, uh, specifically uh, Home Depot and Lowe's. On occasion, if you are lucky, they carry them. They carry them, as opposed to say um, the Longins, which uh, you know, unfortunately for me anyway, I have to stop by uh, my local well local Los Angeles uh, nurseries in order to uh, grab a set. Um, same with uh, the um, guavas, uh, guavas, Lowe's, Home Depot, they have them. Uh, just maybe not, not, not specialty varieties, but for the most part, they've got your typical tropical pink, tropical white. Uh, you know, I mean, it's a guava. You really can't go wrong with a guava. So um, another tree that I find that is extremely easy to grow um, is actually going to be um, the white sapote here. Uh, this is a Subel variety. Um, so similar to the Manila mango, uh, the white sapotes are like really good. I mean the, the fruits themselves are very juicy, very sweet. Uh, this guy actually needs some coal so or, or winter is very very um, favorable to this particular tree. So yeah, more more Kahala longins here. As you can see, just based on the f uh, fact that um, from experiences, uh, uh, you know, these trees are easy to grow. That's why I've got <laughs> a ton of them here in the yard. Um, another one down the list is going to be the Anonas. Um, more specifically, the Cherimoya and the Etamoya. Uh, this particular tree is a, uh, an Etamoya. Uh, of unknown variety, um, likely uh, a Gaffner. Um, the thing with the Anonas though is you're gonna have to hand pollinate these guys. Um, from experience, when you hand pollinate, 
I mean, I've had nearly 100% success with the uh, pollination, uh, the pollination rate. So let me see what else we've got here. Um, another tree that uh, I find that is actually quite easy to grow uh, is going to be the Sornam cherry. So uh, a few years ago, before we had this uh, guava here, uh, this guy was grown in full sun. Uh, it took the heat without any issues at all. Um, and also winter as well. I mean, you know, there really wasn't a microclimate area happening here, but the Sornam cherry uh, is another uh, uh, tropical that uh, is just really easy to grow. Um, so, speaking of um, uh, longgins, um, this is a, uh, a, I believe this is actually, yeah, no, well, this, let's focus on this guy right here. That's a Shui shampoo. Um, yeah, longgins from experience, regardless of the variety, they, they adapt very well here in the Central Valley. Um, this guy, this long gin right here, this relatively tall one here, uh, is a BUQ, um, probably, you know, one of the fastest growing uh, long gins. So, as you can see, I mean, it just wants to drive. Awesome looking foliage. So, <clears throat> covering the rose apple and the wax jambu family, wax jambus are extremely cold sensitive. There is one wax jambu family tree that's known as simply the rose apple. It's this guy right here. Tastes just like a wax apple. Uh, looks just like a wax apple. But this is a rose apple. This is the variety that, um, you know, will grow here in the ground without any protection. So um, if you want something that's in the wax jambu family, start off with the rose apple. Um, I mean, it's simply named the rose apple. The term wax jambu and rose apple, if you look it up, they're used interchangeably. But um, when I say wax jambu, I'm talking more like the black diamond, black pearl. Um, but this is simply just a rose apple. So another one that, um, that is just extremely easy to grow, it's going to be um, this guy right here actually. So this is um, just like the white sapote, this is the black sapote. Um, though it's really not in the sapote family, this is... Um, uh, it, it's actually in the persimmon family. Um, yeah, very easy to grow. Uh, it, 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 it grows at a moderate rate, so it's not going to be crazy fast. Um, but yeah, this, these guys can also handle the, uh, the heat and the, more importantly, the cold. I mean, just the foliage alone, I mean, it, it is just very glossy, awesome looking. So, while on the topic of uh, sapote, most sapotes are actually surprisingly easy to grow here. Uh, Chico sapote uh, is also one that um, will do really well here. Um, the, the only downside with this particular tree is you kind of want to give it some shade protection when it is young. But beyond that, uh, it, it's looking phenomenal. It's looking great, especially uh, winter time. Uh, this guy can handle the, uh, the winter. So, um, I will take you to the front where I've got a few more examples to show you. All right, so front yard. Another tropical tree that uh, is also surprisingly easy to grow is going to be this guy right here. Well, these guys right here. Uh, specifically, the Mexican variety papaya. The nice benefit about the Mexican uh, papaya is insanely easy to propagate from seed. And generally within a year or two, it gets to the, about this size and that's the amount of food that it's giving you. So papaya. Um, yeah, I mean, again, just uh, going to uh, guavas, regardless of what it is, it, it does phenomenal here, even when it's young. I mean, that, that's a young Thai guava. Um, and the fruits themselves are, you know. If you come here, this is guava season. Uh, that's how you know it's ripe. So, yeah, guavas. Uh, this particular one is a Ruby Supreme. Uh, more guavas. Uh, this is a Red Malaysian. So, um, 
going on with the going back to the uh, the known as uh, the one I shown you back there was a an etamoya. Um, the other one that's easy to grow is the cherimoya. It, it'd be this guy right here. Um, yeah, if you look at some of the leaves that were burnt, uh, that, that's actually my fault. It's a combination of two things. Uh, my inconsistent watering practice in the front yard. Um, and also <laughs> we had a, a couple of weeks with a heat wave. So uh, the tree just basically had difficulties cooling itself and that's the result. So, yeah, and of course, uh, the other one is going to be just the, the Inga in general. Uh, these guys are, they're, they're, I don't want to say easy, easy to grow, but they are very hardy. So, yeah, anyhow, I just wanted to uh, give you kind of a, 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 a starter kit, I guess. The, the list of plants that, um, which I will put down in the comment, but a list of plants that, from my experience, in the ground are fairly easy to grow. So, anyhow, all right, have a good afternoon.